Mr. Lujic, do you still maintain that your actions concerning Flight 138 were somehow justified? What would you have done? None of you can understand because none of you were there. You don't think about what's right and wrong when you're just trying to survive. Right and wrong, those are just words. They don't mean anything when you look around you and all you can see is death. And all you can feel is the hunger. What would you have done? We're not talking about a plane crash in the Andes here, sir. <laughs> you never got off the runway. <laughs> We're talking about a delay. You are the sole survivor of a 35-minute delay. 35 minutes I will never forget. You ate 112 of your fellow passengers. You could have eaten just one, but no, you ate a little bit of each passenger. What? Your Honor, I am not an experienced cannibal. I did not get on that plane expecting to eat anyone. I simply tasted a little of each in hopes that the next one would taste better. I'm sure Your Honor's done the same thing with a box of chocolates. No, I haven't. My wife does, and I hate it when she does it. Oh. I suppose I wouldn't mind so much if I still loved her. But let's face it. I need some time to myself. <laughs> Case dismissed. Merry Christmas, Babs. <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> Diamonds! Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> I should have given those to you 20 years ago. What, when I was seven? Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Someone's breaking in! Oh. What's this? Oh, sit there, get the club! Oh! 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 Merry Christmas! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who hit Santa Claus? Whoa, don't be scared of me, young man. I'm Santa Claus. Santa Claus? <laughs> yes, and I brought presents. No, no. <laughs> sit down, sit down. No. Oh, now let's see. Who do we have here? Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, Charles and Barbara, a nice married couple. <laughs> Five years married. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, how many children am I leaving presents for, hmm? Santa? What? We don't have any children. No children? No. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, Santa, but we don't have any children. I understand. Come on, scoot over. Come on now. All right, all right. Listen very carefully, because I only have a minute. Little boys have a doo-doo, and little girls have a hoo -ha. And in the spring, Look, you Santa, rub them... Look, Santa, we know how to make children. Jeez. Oh, God, then what say you make some don't children? Sit. Come on. Santa, oh, please. Oh, we don't know if we want to be parents. What? We both come from dysfunctional families. Blah, 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 blah. Your lips are flapping, but you're making no sense. All you need to know is that... Children are wonderful. They are. Why, I have several of them myself. And each time one of them calls me daddy, a little part of me just melted dust. Now, that might sound like a cliche, but it's not. Santa, that isn't the problem. Oh, so there is a problem. All right, Charles, come sit on Santa's knee. No, no I, come on. Come not, on and I sit on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> See there, little boy, how are you? Okay, now tell me, does your doo-doo not stand up when your wife's hoo-ha walks by? Santa Claus! 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 Santa Claus!
Claus. There's nothing wrong with my husband's penis. Oh, oh, oh Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry, Santa, but we don't want any children, so screw you and the deer you rode in on. Take your presents and leave. All right, then I'll take my presents and leave. But, but tell me this. If you don't have any children, who will play with the other people's children, huh? No one's children? Sounds like a pretty sad party to me. Santa, you're ruining Christmas. You're so what so you have some children. Get out! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sad Christmas! Sad Christmas! What is <laughs> What's wrong, honey? Maybe Santa isn't so crazy. <laughs> So that's how I came to be born? Yes. Isn't that neat? And then my parents sold me? Well, you came with the house. Yes. We got you in the house all on the same day. I love you. And we're learning to love you, too. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Hi. A few months ago, we announced an exciting contest, the Spot Bellini Contest. What you had to do was draw a picture of where you saw Bellini in our skit show. <laughs> there it was. Thousands entered, but only one can win. Sort of like the sperm going upstream in an attempt to fertilize the egg. Enough about me. What the winner got was to have breakfast with Bellini at his or her local airport. And we documented this with a still camera. Now, to enhance the presentation, we're using Bellini's favorite music, which is, of course, improvisational xylophone music. <laughs> and now, the exciting conclusion. <laughs> there he is, Bellini. Bellini wings into our winner's city, our nation's capital, Ottawa. As Bellini travels through the air, he contemplates the winner and what he must look like. <laughs> Bellini arrives and is greeted by one of Canada's finest. You're coming with me, jokes the Mountie. Seriously, sir, it's a pleasure. And before you know it, Bellini meets the winner. Let's eat, urges the winner. Not so fast, motions Bellini. We've forgotten one thing. There's my prize, says the winner. There's my all-Canadian breakfast and fish for Bellini, because I know that's all he eats. Not so fast, urges the airport chef. And the fish is deboned. They dig in. The meal is a cult success, much like our show. Suddenly, a tense moment. An argument over table manners. Oh, I see your point, says the contest winner. And they laugh uproariously like two children drunk on dad's beer. But all good things must come to an end. See, although Bellini understands many languages, the one word he has trouble with is goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Bellini, said the contest winner. Every time I see a man in a towel at the airport, eating fish, I'll think of you. Goodbye, Bellini. Bye, Bellini. Bye. I'll never forget you, says the contest winner. Is Frank there? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He must have the wrong number. Oh, oh, geez. Is this 556767? Five, five, six, seven, six, seven? No, this is 555776. Five, five, seven, six, seven, six. Oh, gee. I find hard to believe. See, I, I, I never make a mistake with numbers, so uh, I'm forced to assume that you're lying. Put Frank on. 
look, there's no Frank here. Goodbye. Look, buddy, you better put Frank on the phone right now, okay? Look, there's no Frank here, all right? Listen, what you're selling, I ain't buying, so put Frank on the phone right now, or I'm gonna... Hello? Listen, Sonny Jim. <laughs> if you don't put Frank on the phone right now, I'm gonna call the cops. In fact, I am dialing the police right now as we speak. Oh, yeah? Tell me something. Hmm? If you're dialing the police, how can you still be talking to me? <laughs> Okay. You want to know how I can be talking to you and dialing the police? Well, I'll tell you. I've got two phones. That's right, pal. You're dealing with Steve. Two phones, Maccabee. So if you have killed Frank, then just... Just tell me what you did with his body, man. <laughs> just a second. I'll see if Frank can come to the phone. Frank, there's a call for you. I'm in the shower. Can you take a message? Look, Frank's in the shower. Can I take a message? Not good enough. I'm still dialing. Still? Yeah. It's long distance. <laughs> yeah, you don't know the meaning of hell till you've dealt with a Tokyo police pal. <laughs> Look, Frank, he really wants to talk to you. Okay. Just let me go out the shower and dry myself. Drying myself, drying myself. I'm at the top of the stairs. Do, 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 do. Hey! Who put that roller skate on the. Ah! Oh, my back! My back! I'm pretty sore. Could he call back later? Frank is pretty hurt. Could he call back later? Put Frank on the phone. He's really sad talking to you, Frank. Okay, coming. Dooby, dooby, doo. Frank's a name. Don't wear it out. Well, it sounds like Frank's voice. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'll ask you a question that only the real Frank would know the answer to. In high school, was I a popular kid or unpopular? Um, I'd have to say unpopular. Frank, you're not dead! <laughs> How the hell could you take Bonnie from me, you bastard? But maybe I should have spent more time worrying about her needs. Look, Frank, I don't need to take this from you. I'm going to kill you, Frank. You hear me? You're a dead man, Frank. A dead man. Who are you talking to? Oh, just the wrong number. Could have sworn I heard Frank's voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Timmy, I think you do really great songs. Hey, here's my business card with my work number on it. Hmm? There you go. You know, in case you have any questions, any problems, or, uh, you know, you just want to talk. Right. So, did you, uh, get the roses? Roses? Yeah, the roses. Why would you send me roses? Well, as a token of my appreciation for you. You know, in case you wanted to get together late one night to talk. You know, roses. Yeah. 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 Stop. I do. But do you think I'm so dumb that I'd go out with you? Spread for no roses. I'm not gonna spread for you, gross old man. You're after 
to shave bricks, you buy your tan. She's not gonna peel for no bad bad. town for 40 minutes. Let's get together and talk. Hey, there's lots of bad guys out there. I can point them out to you. I run a charity. We collect the candy. Talk, talk, talk. Tastefully done. Tasteful use of crotch shots. Class act. Mm. I better call my wife. Me too. Me too. Enjoy. Thanks, Bryce. I just want everything to be right for when my old girlfriend or new boyfriend come over tonight. Sure, Cal. I know what you mean. Also, I was wondering if I could, um, ask another favor of you? Uh, another favor? Yeah. I was wondering if I could, uh, borrow your, uh, art? My art? Yeah. I just really want to impress her. Sure. But get it back to me as soon as possible, all right? Yeah, yeah, sure, dude. All right. Well, I've been pretty busy. What with my... work. I didn't realize you'd become so successful. Well, you know. Those are really nice paintings. Paintings? Oh. <laughs> You mean my art. I didn't know you collected art. Yes, it's one of my many passions in life. Forgot your purse. Okay, yeah, sure. See you in a half hour. Yeah, right, purse. I know what she wants. The tide turned my way the second she saw my art. Uh -huh. My art! <laughs> 
It's over here by my heart. <laughs> so. Can I have my purse? Yes, of course. Now, would you like a libation or... I... Uh... Specific. I just came home and the door was blown apart. My art! Where did you find it? Well, I was driving around at 3 a.m., as is my want, when I noticed two kids with your art. And, well, I got it from them. Unfortunately, they got away. What did these two kids look like? One was fat, and one was thin, with funny hair. Excuse me. True story. 